Hi, this is Nanette Hosenfeld with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Saturday, September 1st, 2018. Looking at fire potential impacts over the next few days, we will see a gradual warming and drying trend that will bring us back to late summer normals as far as temperatures. Uh, for today, we will see dry and breezy post frontal north northwesterly north winds across southern Idaho and northern Utah, um, as well as some showers and thunderstorms across the eastern part of the Great Basin. Uh, moving into Sunday, we will continue to see those showers and thunderstorms across the eastern part of the area, those, though they will be more isolated in nature. On Monday, the uh, coverage of showers and thunderstorms will shift a bit to the west and the north, and there is a potential to see some uh, dry thunderstorms mixed in uh, across central Utah and far eastern Nevada on Monday. Over the past 24 hours, there's a fair amount of precipitation across the Great Basin, mainly focused across eastern and southern Utah. Uh, the lightning was in similar areas uh, with the greatest amount of lightning across southeastern Utah. Looking at fire activity, uh, we still have quite a few team fires across the area. Initial attack activity has been quite light over the past few days. Observed precipitation over the past seven days has been quite spotty. The majority of the precipitation has fallen across the northern part of the Great Basin, and it's been quite dry uh, in areas further south. Looking back at the 14-day period, you can see that it was much wetter about uh, two weeks ago across portions of southern and eastern Utah on the Arizona Strip. So it's really dried out across those areas um, in the past week. The ERCs reflect this. Uh, you can see the increasing ERCs across uh, the eastern and southern part of the Great Basin. And there's a strip kind of across uh, northwestern Utah, northeastern Nevada, and into southern Idaho of higher ERCs. And that's just the area that's really missed out on the precipitation over the past while. Looking in a little more depth at the ERCs, uh, GB25, which encompasses northwestern Utah, is looking at ERCs approaching record values. Uh, GB12 looks like it's uh, closer to normal for the time of year. The satellite this morning shows a disturbance in place across the Great Basin. Uh, there's also some moisture in place across the south, and that is what will be responsible for the showers and thunderstorms that we're expecting today. So for today, you can see some moisture in place across the southeastern part of the area, eastern part of the area. That's where we're generally expecting those showers and thunderstorms uh, to form. And as far as the significant fire potential, you can see uh, the driest fuels, the moderate risk across kind of that strip of the area that hasn't had as much precipitation. Looking in more detail at the forecast for today, uh, again, you can see that area of showers and thunderstorms highlighted in green on that map on the left. And that's where we're expecting those storms this afternoon. Winds will be generally light across the area today. As we move into Sunday, uh, we keep that dry air in place across the northwestern part of the area. Still some moisture across the southeastern part of the Great Basin. And with that moisture in place, uh, you can see from the weather map on the left, again, we're expecting, expecting another day of those showers and thunderstorms tomorrow, although coverage will be pretty limited. Uh, winds will be even lighter tomorrow than what we're expecting today. As we move into Monday, that moisture expands a bit to the north and the west. Uh, with that expanded moisture in place, you can see that uh, coverage of showers and thunderstorms uh, moving into portions of Nevada. Over the next three days, the majority of the precipitation will fall across Utah and the Arizona Strip, although uh, Nevada could see a, uh, some precipitation that would mainly be on Tuesday. Uh, as we move into Tuesday, you can see that moisture in place across the area with the deepest moisture across the southeastern part of the Great Basin. Uh, that remains generally the pattern moving into Wednesday. We'll be under um, a building high pressure, which means we'll see warming temperatures on Wednesday. That continues to be the case into Thursday with uh, some moisture trapped underneath that ridge um, and gradually warming temperatures through Thursday. And then as we move into Friday, we start to see some drier air make its way into the Great Basin ahead of an approaching storm. We could also see some increased winds with that storm making its way into the area. Over the next seven days, really uh, not much different than the three-day forecast as far as precipitation totals. Finally, in the 8 to 14 day period, the Climate Prediction Center is calling for uh, warmer and drier conditions across much of the area than we typically see in the first two weeks of September. So that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Our information is on the screen, and you can also find us on Twitter. Thanks.